Welcome to ClearPath ePortal Developer Capabilities Demonstration. This video is part of a series of videos on ePortal for modernizing ClearPath OS 2200 applications. This video gives an overview of the important concepts of ePortal Developer. The ePortal Developer concepts that we will cover include client and server messages, auto create client message capability, message orchestration, and map and forward capability. An ePortal data source project contains server messages, client messages, and the logic to control the data flow. Now let's look at what server and client messages are. Server messages flow between the ClearPath OS 2200 server and ePortal runtime. ePortal Runtime sets the field values in in-server messages and sends them as a request to call the services on the OS2200 server. The OS2200 server returns the response as out-server messages. Client messages flow between ePortal Runtime and the final presentation application, which can be web browser applications, mobile applications, or web services. When a request is submitted from the presentation application, ePortal Runtime receives it as an in-client message. ePortal Runtime returns the response to the presentation application as out-client message. Now that we understand what client messages and server messages are, let's look at two important options. Auto-create client message and auto-recreate client message while creating a data source project. Let's look at where we set this option and when set what transpires. We are in an OS2200 OpenDTP data source project. In the Solution Explorer window, right-click on the data source project node and select the property page. In Data Source Project Property Pages dialog, we see two properties called Auto Create Client Message and Auto Recreate Client Message, which can be set to true. When the Auto Create Client Message value is set to true, whenever a server message is created, ePortal Developer generates a corresponding client message with the same name and fields automatically. When the auto recreate client message value is set to true, whenever a server message is updated, ePortal Developer recreates the corresponding client message with updated values. Once we have the appropriate server and client messages in the data source project, the next step is to define the logic for data flow between the OS2200 server application, ePortal runtime, and final presentation application. That is, how the web browser or mobile application navigates and interacts with a server application. This is done using message orchestration capability provided in ePortal Developer. Message orchestration provides the capability to Specify how clients connect with and authenticate themselves to the server application. Specify the sequence of message exchanges and data transformations that occur between the client and the server application. And how to handle error and exception conditions. For example, here we can see typical message orchestration steps carried out for doing a fund transfer operation in a banking application. The user selects option Transfer Funds on the home page of the banking application. ePortal Runtime returns a Transfer Funds web page. The user enters the fund transfer details and submits the page. ePortal Runtime forwards the fund transfer details in a server message and sends the request to server application. Server application processes the request and returns a confirmation server message. ePortal Runtime then places the request to get the account details by sending the get accounts server message. Server application processes the request and returns accounts out server message. ePortal Runtime consolidates the server responses. 
that is, transfer confirm an accounts out into one and returns a confirmation page containing information about the fund transfer confirmation response as well as the current account balances to the client application. Orchestration is event-driven and begins when ePortal Runtime receives a client or server message. For handling the client session, two default event handlers are added in data source project. On client session start is triggered when a request for a new client session is received. On client session end is triggered when an existing client session ends. After the session is established, each subsequent client message is handled by a specific client message event handler defined by orchestration. When the ePortal runtime receives a client message, the event handler for that message is triggered, causing the activities defined in the event handler to be executed until the event handler completes. The event handler typically exchanges messages with the server application or performs local processing. The event handler ends by replying to the presentation application with a client message. We can see here a couple of client message handlers. Start node under the on client home handles the event when the user submits the home page. If the user's choice on home page is get accounts, ePortal runtime will send the buf and get accounts message to server. If the choice is transfer funds, then ePortal Runtime will reply with a page where the user can enter the fund transfer details. When Orchestration window is open, the Toolbox window will be populated with a list of activities that will assist in defining the event handlers. As orchestration steps are being created, ePortal Developer continually validates the contents of orchestration. An error icon or warning icon appears in the orchestration tree adjacent to the invalid activity. The solution will not compile if we have an error present in the orchestration steps. In case no orchestration steps are done for a client or server message, ePortal Developer provides support for some default handling. When the ePortal runtime receives a client message and no orchestration steps are defined for it, ePortal runtime can pick a server message with the same name as the client message, copy the field's content, and send the server message to the server application. Similarly, if the orchestration does not explicitly define a reply action, ePortal runtime can pick a client message with the same name as the last server message received copy the field's content, and send the client message to the presentation application. This behavior is called map and forward capability and is useful for cases where the client messages and server messages match one-to-one. -one. Let's check the options available in the ePortal developer for map and forward behavior. For map and forward behavior to work, in the orchestration properties window, we need to set auto generate pages to true, default receive handling to map and forward, and default reply handling to map and forward. If auto generate pages is set to false, default receive handling is set to throw exception, and default reply handling is set to throw exception, then if no orchestration steps are done for a message, ePortal Runtime will throw an unorchestrated message exception. This completes the introduction to important concepts of ePortal Developer. Unisys offers a comprehensive set of ClearPath services to enrich the value of your ClearPath applications, data and systems. Please contact your Unisys representative for more information.